it's Marissa with the Umbrian Sewist. Thanks for joining me today. I am here <clears throat> back in Italy from my trip to the US. I arrived um, quite late last night after a number of delays and I am probably jet lagged. So hopefully I um, make sense in what I'm saying. But I wanted to um, sort of take you through some of the things that I purchased. So I'm going to probably separate this into two videos, one um, being about the fabric and the other being about sort of um, the bag making supplies and things that I got in that, in that regard. So today I'm going to talk to you about the fabric um, that I purchased. I feel that this was quite restrained for me, maybe for others it was not restrained, but for me, Quite restrained. Although um, as I lugged my bags through the airport, I was cursing any of the purchases that I made because yeah, uh, taking two large bags on multiple trains after arriving on an overnight flight was not enjoyable. Um, my trip to the US was um, sort of uneventful. I went to sort of see how my parents were getting on and um, see if they needed any help. And while I was there, I was able to um, hire someone to come help my mom do some cooking a couple of times a week just to sort of, you know, help her with that, do some grocery shopping and cooking. And so in that sense, it was quite a successful trip. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to be going back um, until August when I'm going to go for a couple weeks with my son. So about five months until that next trip. So I feel that I did my duty as a nice daughter and was able to sort of help them do a lot of little other things that for me are easy to do, but for them were not. So anyway, so yes, job done, tick. But it's just so good to be home in um, a much more calm, peaceful environment where there's not traffic and people and I guess I must be a recluse, but I'm much more happy here in the countryside. And I had a lovely coffee this morning, so I'm very happy. Anyway, I shall get on with the fabric. Now, I went, so actually I got everything from four different stores. Um, obviously, I was in the store, so uh, I don't think I can link sort of the actual fabric but I will sort of share the stores that I went to. So the first store that I went to was a crafting store called Ben Franklin. Now I believe, I don't know outside of Washington state if this store exists, but I believe it's sort of like a franchise in the sense that each Ben Franklin store sort of has different stock and that sort of thing. Now I went to a Ben Franklin store that was essentially getting rid of all of the dressmaking fabric. They weren't going to be doing any more dressmaking fabric. So I purchased two items at quite a good price. No idea what that price is at this point. So apologies. Um, but I want to say it was something like five or six dollars and it, the the fabric quality was really nice and quite unique so the first one is this quite cool um tie-dye ish fabric with sort of it's a bluey purple this color um and a turquoise and obviously a cream now the brown probably doesn't do anything for me, but I really liked this. This one is um, quite a nice, very, very soft sort of French terry. So it's kind of smooth on that side. And then you can see the sort of loops on this side. Um, I was going to buy two meters of it. And then there was two, two meters, I keep saying that, yards. But then there was two and a half yards left and the woman just wanted to get rid of it. Cause as I said, that was a, they just want to get rid of the dressmaking fabric. It's quite wide. I think it's like 55 ish. Let's see. Centimeters. It's my arm. Yeah. 55 centimeters. See, this is a jet lag. 55 centimeters, 55 inches. And so I thought I could make a South Bank sweater dress out of this or something like that. But I am going to get it washed up and sewn up 
quickly because I quite like it. I also feel like it's quite spring-like. Um, but I need to think about what to make because it would be nice to actually use all of the fabric rather than have any left over. So I'm going to look through my patterns and um, find something that will be nice to make this out of. Um, so yeah, so that's the first one. So I'm just going to chuck it here. The second one is just a really nice, simple, um, jersey. See, the jet lag is sitting and I couldn't even remember what to say. This is just a cotton jersey spandex in a navy blue. And I purchased, I think, one and a half meters. Nope, keep saying meters, one and a half yards of this um, just to make a t-shirt. So I'm gonna make the Jesse T by True Bias, which is the free pattern. And I will make that in this just to have a simple t-shirt. So those are the two fabrics. And like I said, I think they were both five or six um, dollars a yard. And then like I said, I got that extra half yard for free. So good deal. And so that was the first store. The second store is Hobby Lobby, and I just picked up one item, which is this um, super nice ribnet. It was a remnant. I paid $4.19, and this is seven eighths of a yard. So I thought that what this would be really nice for would be like a, a tank top or a vest top, as some people say, for the summer. Um, with uh, I've got a couple of nice vest top patterns for knits. And obviously it gets hot here, so I thought that would be quite a nice one for a good price. The third shop was Joanne Fabrics. And I, again, very restrained. I purchased two items, and I think I was restrained. I will explain. Because, so the last time I was in the U.S. was three and a half years ago. And literally, almost everything has doubled in price since I was gone. And I know this because obviously when you're gone and you, for that period of time, you notice the differences, but also the last time I went, I purchased a lot of the same thing. So for example, any Americans out there will know I went to the CVS or the Walgreens and bought like the big jar of uh, Tylenol, but the generic one, Tylenol, ibuprofen, because for me here, I can buy all that stuff, but to have one jar with a thousand in it was is just easier. And it lasted me like four or five years. So I wanted to purchase those things. Now, when I was in the US four and a half years ago, I purchased those and they were about $12. Now they're 20 to 22. So, okay, so not quite double, but that is what I noticed. And the thing is with the fabric, like even at Joann's with all the coupons and this and that, I can purchase amazing quality fabric from, of course, fabric stores like Dries and stuff and for less and the quality is amazing. So whereas before when I used to, because I've lived abroad for quite a long time, when I used to travel back to the US, I would buy a lot of things because everything was so much cheaper. It's really not the case anymore. So that led to the restraint that I had. Now saying that I did purchase two pieces of fabric from Joann's and this is the first. It's a really nice rib knit in this like raspberry I don't know, berry color. And this is really nice quality. Um, and um, I believe I purchased uh, one and a half, um, or actually I would call this an Ottoman rib. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Cause actually it's very similar to what I'm wearing. And this is, I purchased this from Dries and stuff and, and, an, and it was called Ottoman rib. And if I compare it, I mean, the Dries and stuff is a little bit thicker. Again, um, the quality is just so nice with the Dries and stuff. But anyways, I really like this color. Um, and I cannot remember what I paid for it. Um, but yeah, I got one and a half meters of this because I would like to make, <coughs> excuse me, either a South Bank sweater or a Freya because I really enjoy wearing them. This is the Freya. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so I might just replicate this. Is it the Freya? Or is, no, no, it's a South Bank. This is a South Bank um, sweater. But I, I didn't put the hem band on this one, but I, if I had enough of this, I would definitely put the hem band. So that's the first one. The second one I'm really, really excited about because what I wanted to do, I've, I have been looking, and I think I said this, I wanted to purchase a quilted fabric, um, and I found this at Joann's. And it is a lovely 
black and white quilted fabric and on the inside it's sort of a double sided is gray and it's really really nice like I'm super thrilled with this um, I believe I purchased 2.2 um, yards because I bought enough that I could make the Atelier Scamet Absolute um, or, you know, hopefully 2.2 would be enough to make another type of jacket. So I am going to look through my patterns and see what I would like to make with this. But um, yeah, this is sort of exactly what I was after. It's got, you know, the batting on the inside and then um, sort of double faced in that sense. So um, this I'm really excited about. This was definitely pricier. I think it was like $24 um, a meter, but I had, um, I got money off because it was on sale and then I had another coupon and you get that. So I really don't know what I paid for it, but um, I'm really pleased with this because it, it really is exactly what I would have selected if I had like 20 quilted fabrics to choose from. And so I'm going to get that washed up and figure out what to make with that. Now, the last fabric store that I went to, oh, and at Joann's, I did buy a few different types of interfacing. This is a thicker one. That's not that exciting, is it? So the last fabric shop that I went to was Pacific Fabrics, which is a really nice fabric store in Seattle. They carry um, lots of quilting fabrics, dressmaking fabrics. They carry a lot of the brands um, that everybody knows, like... Um, Tula Pink, Tula Pink. See, I can't think right now. Um, cotton and steel, that type of thing. So I purchased, like I said, I purchased four items from here. The first is this absolutely lovely cotton, which is quite thick. And let me see how thick it is. So it's, it's really pretty. It's like black and white. Um, yeah, it's kind of feels thicker and I really want to make a shirt out of this. So I am just sort of halfway through the Cameron by Helen's Closet, but everybody, if anybody has seen my channel before, you will know that I made the Itch to Stitch Montana. Um, I'm so far thinking I'm going to like the Cameron more, but I haven't finished it, so I can't say for sure. And whichever one I like the best, I'm going to make that out of this. Um, because I just thought this will go with so many different things. And um, yeah, it's a really nice quality. And um, and yeah, I thought that would be quite a nice shirt um, that I could make that would go with lots of different things. So that's the first item. The second item was in the sale rack. Again, I don't remember how much I paid for these, apologies. Um, but um, this is a beautiful double gauze which you can see is blue. It's like one of the double gauzes that's um, very smooth. Um, so it's a tie, I feel like it's a tighter weave. So you can see um, it's sort of, I don't know, is that an Aztec print? Um, I just thought that was so pretty. I really love blue, um, as you can tell. And um, yeah, I just thought that would just make a really pretty shirt. Um, let me get a bit closer. Uh, but yeah, it's just beautiful, different shades of blue, so lighter blues, darker blues, and the sort of whitey cream, and it's incredibly soft, and I thought, yeah, really nice shirt for the spring or summer. Don't know which pattern I will um, give that a go with, but yeah, it will be something in my stash, so I'm going to get that washed up. And then the last two fabrics... Um, I got are specifically to make a bag. Um, so I purchased, um, and I'll share this in my next vlog, but I purchased this pattern. Uh, it's a noodle head pattern. It's a redwood tote. And um, I bought enough of these two fabrics. So the outside will just be a simple blue cotton canvas and these will this will be the inside. Um, I just thought that was so beautiful. I don't know if it's the right way up or wrong way. Um, but yeah, super pretty. This will be the lining. This is um, was definitely pricier. Um, maybe this is a well-known brand. I don't know. It's called Paintbrush Studio Fabrics Moon Rabbit. So it's their collection that I suspect has just come out. Um, but I just really loved all the different sort of blue 
elements to this and the different patterns. To me, it looks like clouds with lots of different um, sort of patterns within the clouds. But yeah, so I thought that would be a super pretty um, uh, bag. So this is the outside. This is the inside. I, I will need to buy some additional supplies for that. But um, I, yeah, I just was really attracted to those together. So um, that is it. Uh, I Like I said, I purchased a bunch of bad bag making supplies. Um, and I'll do a separate video for that just to keep them shorter. Um, but yeah, I look forward to doing some sewing again. I missed it after a week. Although I did sew something for my father while I was there on my mom's machine. Um, but as you know, it's nice to have your own machine, your own space. And uh, yeah, so it's good to be back. So hopefully I'll bring out a Friday Sews this week. And um, I'll also make the second part of this video, which is about bag making supplies. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thanks for anyone who has newly subscribed or newly come to the channel. And um, yeah, if any comments, questions, I love chatting with you in the comments box. But hope you're all well and I will speak to you soon. Bye.